What's up guys, we're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Sir, I know you are excited, but your voice must be gone because we're here for a huge movie. And Mr. James Shu. Dot com. <laughs> It is, uh, it's gonna be busy. Yes, it's going to be nuts. It is going to be historic. My thumbs are about to fall off yeah. because of all my texting. <laughs> all your buddy, everyone given here, AMC Town Square, for the midnight premiere of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, everyone is highly anticipating that. But however, in the other part of the theater, you know, hidden down in, in that one opening, there is a comedy opening that's not related to Star Wars, and that stars SNL vets Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. Sisters. Yes, yeah, sisters. A comedy that I was able to see a sneak peek of at Cinema con that um, just kind of takes the two funniest women who worked on SNL and puts them together. We've all know they've had great chemistry. They did work on Baby Mama, which wasn't a very good movie, but they're both so funny. Like it's just enjoying to be around them. This movie is about two sisters who have to go back to their childhood home because they're getting ready to sell it and clear it out. And they decide to throw one huge bash as they are older and they want to feel like what it's like to be young again. Um, do you like Amy Poehler and Tina Fey? Amy Poehler I don't care for, Tina Fey I like. Yeah, I like Tina Fey too, but I mean I like Amy Poehler, but I definitely prefer Tina Fey. Uh, I'm a huge fan of 30 Rock. Uh, she was also the writer and starred uh, in Mean Girls and that, that's, you know, you can't argue that that's all fun stuff. I'm a huge SNL fan. Uh, I've enjoyed the, the, you know both of them on that show. I've not watched Parks and Rec, so that's where Amy Poehler gets a lot of her, her love. Uh, but I definitely want Chris to. Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah. Um, you have uh, John Cena starring in this movie and some other SNL cameos. So overall, this movie looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, great comedy. Totally for anyone that's not interested in seeing lightsaber duels and, and the force and things like that. But it's definitely going to be in the minority. I mean, it was pretty risky being like, I could just see like a roll call. Like, all right, who's going to go against Star Wars? I'm like, all right, I guess we will. <laughs> you know, but I mean, my mom would go see Sisters and she wouldn't go see Star Wars. So I'm interested to see the number difference. But uh, anyway. Sisters, I know you're going to see Star Wars. Oh, we, we're going to go see Sisters too. We're going to do a double header. We are doing a double header. <laughs> we are. How long so, is the movie? The movie is about two hours, which is kind of long for a comedy. Makes me a little nervous. That is long because usually comedy is about 120, 130. Yeah, you always want to see, you know, shorter the better with comedy, you know, because the laugh can always end quick. So All right, well, I'm hoping for it. Let's go watch the Sisters or decide if we should have been with the brothers. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we just got out of Sisters. Sisters! And this movie was absolutely what I thought it would be. Hilarious? Dude, I sat in that theater the entire hour and a, or two hours. Yeah. And I was, just, I, I, mean, I was just sitting back wondering, wow. All I thought to myself was, wow, these two get paid millions of dollars to hang out with each other and just, <laughs> and just have fun. And I can't be mad at that. We call it the Adam Sandler syndrome. Yes. <laughs> just invite all your friends, you take care of everybody, and you get paid, and again, I can't be mad at it, because yeah. I'm jealous, but that, I wouldn't recommend the movie. I didn't like it. Yeah, how many times did you laugh? Did you keep count? Was it that short? I could probably say I probably smirked a few times. <laughs> I like, sat right next like to him. Like yeah. maybe the Johnny, Johnny Cena parts, some of them maybe <laughs> might have been like, yeah, entertaining, uh, or I don't even know if Just because they put him so out there. Like every time we see John Cena, he's obviously so, uh, get, like, against what we normally see him as and it just kind of makes it funny seeing him that way yeah wouldn't recommend it yeah you know like this is one of those movies where I was like oh I'm gonna love it like how can I not like it just seems like so much fun and like you're just kind of hoping as the movies going by you're like all right I'm halfway in it'll get better all right it's almost over come on where's the great last and then it just kind of never comes you know and, and I mean I'm not saying it's a, a horrible movie but it is really weak and I think that I mean the chemistry between Amy Poehler and Tina Fey is there and you see that they're having a blast but the audience isn't having a blast with this movie. I mean, it, it, it seems like these two queens of comedy like just really kind of stepped into like the very basic, average type of humor. Like they are so talented. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler are so great when it comes to comedy and they just kind of took on this really basic, generic script that didn't allow them to shine, didn't allow them to really bring anything different to the role. I mean, a lot of it was them just kind of juggling over lines that you would hear Will Ferrell say or just like these little improv lines or, or you know spinorama is what it's kind of come to known as and it's just them blurting out things that I'm sure they just improv 15 times. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Bobby uh, Bobby Monahan uh, from SNL who I'm a big fan of, he's still on SNL, he was he was interesting in this movie uh, sometimes. Who's he? He was the guy who no one laughed at. He was the chubby guy that eventually oh, okay. gets really, really Yeah, high. see, I didn't find that funny. Yeah, I think it worked sometimes. I think they overdid it a lot. Like, you know, they kind of really went out there. But just being, a, you know, like, I think that it was hard to, 
like dislike this movie so much because I'm such a fan of everyone in it. Maya Rudolph from Bridesmaids, she plays like the enemy girl in this movie, kind that, of that was somewhat. Stupid. <laughs> it's just like a lot of it just doesn't work and it just kind of feels out there. Honestly, I think that uh, the funniest people in this movie were the parents of Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. I thought they had some really good jokes, like when they had seen the house. No, well, yeah, you were just at the point where you're just like really out of it, you know? No, you know what I've also come down with? I don't think I'm very fun. That's not true. Like I was watching that movie, I was just like, dang it, no, I'm not laughing. I'm, uh, and then behind me, ha, 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 like well, the people just, behind me were just like, well, like <laughs> dying. Like it was the world's greatest thing since liar liar. And I was just like, you lying. I like how your standard is liar liar. It's the best thing since liar liar. No, but you know what, man? I sat next to you at a press screening for the Guardians of the Galaxy, and you were so excited that you punched me oh at least every gosh. thirty seconds, and you were laughing and up. You are yeah, fun. See, that movie. It's just not a movie that was gives a lot of fun. what Star Wars. I'm hoping is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we did do Star Wars. If you haven't seen our review, it is posted. You can find the white eyes either here or here. Click it, it's linked down. You'll be able to see our review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, guys, if you are fans of these ladies, I can't tell you not to go see it because you enjoy watching them. Obviously, you'll, 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 probably like you'll, it. you'll forgive them. <laughs> That's what I mean, I guess. You'll be a little bit more forgiving. Uh, but overall, uh, not a movie that I really enjoyed it and not such a great way to kind of end out the year because uh, this is this is it for us This is our last eve. This is our last uh, midnight premiere for this year for 2015. It's it was a, it was a good year Can't we had a good run yep. again? Yep, you know we, we got we got a lot of movies watched. That's for sure uh, But there's one more to talk about Star Wars the force awakens and it is the one that we definitely need to talk But We about. are also gonna do a review on the hateful eight Yeah, we're gonna review all the movies that come out on Christmas, but unfortunately, you know, we um, they don't do many premieres on Christmas Eve No, they don't so uh, a lot of those reviews are not gonna unfortunately be li uh, live here at Town Square for our premieres uh, But we will be back up in January. We got Kung Fu Panda 3 coming out in January We got some other stuff. I don't really remember off the top of my head But I know Kung Fu Panda 3 is the one I'm like all right you know, like usually that's a dump month, but I'm ready for KP3. So, anyway, sisters, not so great, but make sure to check out Louis Vuitton's review of this movie at chasingcinema.com slash sisters. He's a big SNL fan as well. Maybe he felt differently. I don't know. You're going to have to check it out. Of course, the link will be up in the eye and down here in the description box. Also, still doing 25 days of Christmas for the next, what's today? Today, my friend, is officially the 18th. So, seven more days I'm doing it for, for a week. Seven more Christmas movies. I'm also doing that. There's also one for that. Again, check in the eye. And uh, let's go talk about some Star Wars. So click on that other video right now and let's make the force be with you.